Welcome back to the MetaMinds podcast where we help you master your mindset. My name is Eamon. I run a video production business full time. And my name is Dan and I'm a fully qualified counselor. And uh, today is a little bit of a different one. Uh, we thought this was really important because, you know, this uh, this podcast is about kind of developing yourself and pushing yourself further, right? And uh, something that's really helped both of us in our life, especially in the last year, it's been more prominent, has been audiobooks. And so as you can tell by the title, we're going over a couple of different books that have changed both of our lives in the last year. Yep. Uh, and some have listened to a couple of times. Uh, but yeah, I think it's really important because you may pick up on a couple or even just one that, that may actually change your life as well. So uh, there's a couple that we share, but with, there's a couple that we, uh, we've listened to and the other person hasn't. Yep. So we'll jump into a few of them and um, yeah, we can... We can, bat you. maybe you can change your life. To, yeah, you know, potentially, to potentially. So. And uh, and also, like, if you are new to the audiobook game, like, it was brand new to me. Like, I only started in 2019 yes, listening yeah, to same. podcasts Straight and audiobooks. Yeah. So, like, if you are new as well, like, we will have a link in the description below to check it out on Audible and you get a 30-day free trial plus a free audiobook. Plus, we'll also include all of the links to the books that we mentioned as well so you actually know what we're talking about. So, there you, you can change your life for free. There you Treat go. Yourself. Treat yourself. So why not? Okay. It's, new it's, year, new me. <laughs> No, <laughs> no, not about no. that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, uh, what's our first book, Dan? Our first book is Building a Story Brand. Yeah, and this has been this has been really, really huge for both of us this year. It was recommended to me by my mentor. Uh, and basically, it's about the fact that humans are creatures of story. And, uh, yeah, pretty much everything that we do, if there's a story involved, which is why we go to the movies and everything, you know, it's, it's like we're going to be way more sucked into it. We're going to care way more. Mm. And so, you know, it's about, like, you know, people expend calories to make decisions. And so if they're going to work with you, whether you're a personal brand or a business, uh, if they're going to work with you, then um, they want to expend as little calories as possible. And so if they come to your website and they're not positioned as like, you know, Luke Skywalker is the main kind of example in the book is like the hero of the story mm -hmm. and you're positioned as the guide of the story, uh, then they're going to run away pretty quickly because it's yep. not very clear. You know, it's yes. very easy to, and clear to understand your brand. So we both kind of, gone through a couple of rebrands and we've done a lot of branding and metamines under this as well mm -hmm. that's made a huge impact yeah um what do you have to, you have to say on it yeah so also it was narrated by uh, donald miller as well so just to mention that as well but yeah like the thing that stood out to me as well the most is i have kind of done this subconsciously is the idea that kind of i'll put myself out on social media as as the hero and and the thing that this book, and everyone does that and everyone does it right because you're like i'm this brand i have this new concept like no one's heard of it before it's new it's exciting like use me kind of thing but the reality is like no you cares. need to connect with the narrative of that person that's yeah. actually consuming your content so they're the hero like you said and you're the guide you're just the one helping them through this this trek basically yeah and the thing that stood out to me um as well as like which is interesting that because i was trying i guess to to be more um like have more of a narrative in my approach and try to connect with the language, for example. Like the biggest thing, just to give reference, like for Eye in the Sky Clothing, the biggest thing was using the language of the FPV drone community, right? And trying to really understand like what they talk about, what their biggest struggles are. And like I, I studied counseling and I'd done a narrative therapy and I never really clicked the two together of like, well, why am I not doing this yeah. in my marketing? Like, why yeah. am I not like connecting with people in that way? So that was the biggest learning yeah. for me. And that's why it's our first book and the yeah. biggest one, because it's like, it's so simple to not realize that. Yeah. And it's so simple that when you're putting yourself out there and you want other people to care about what you're doing, you care about what you're doing the most. So you're saying it from your point of view and your experience, but are you adding value to other people? Mm. You know, are you positioning yourself in a particular way? So it's like, you know, you don't have to know everything about business and brand and whatever, even if you just want to, you know, be an Instagram model or whatever, like this book's really going to help you. Yeah. And a fair warning, he says story brand about 5,000 times in it because yes. he is pushing a further thing. It's, a you know, selling another like a course or whatever it is. Yeah. That really annoyed me because it's just the way he says it. I'm like, oh, dude, shut up. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, but the, the message in there is The message cool. is great. <laughs> and also it's like that whole reference of like, check out my website to get the actual story brand yeah. template. Yeah, As but such. if you can put up with that, you know. That's, that's fine. And, and, and yeah. there's so much in there. There's so much value in there. It's definitely yeah. one I want to re-listen to as well, for sure. For sure. Yeah. So, uh, the second one, oh, there's actually more than three that we both listened to, but Ooh. what's the second one? Crushing it's it. Crushing it. So, we all know who Gary Vee is, but uh, this one, again, has had a very big impact because Dan and I both started a brand together this year, but we both have several of our own personal brands and different uh, brands. And crushing it in very short is... 
spending all of your waking time posting as much as you can to all of your different social medias, different content, so that you're adding value so that people know who you are. Is there anything else that I've kind of missed? Yes. Like- the thing that like I, the biggest takeaway I took away from this, which is something I was doing but didn't realize, is try different platforms, right? And the crazy thing is, like, I just looked at the release date. This was released 3rd of April, 2018. There was no mention of TikTok in this. Gary Vee is now on the TikTok train, right? And that's a prime example of him, like, trying a new platform, recognizing the real estate in it, and then actually crushing it, right? Yeah. And literally, like, I was talking to someone yesterday about this, the idea that you can film one piece of content and just have it in the aspect ratio ready for Instagram stories, and then you can, like, repackage that for TikTok, for yeah. Facebook stories. So you've got right, three... Right blog, like... Yeah, exactly right. So there's... No real excuse why you can't crush it with one piece of content, right? Like the idea is, well, I have to shoot unique things for every platform. Yeah. But like you can cycle it and like we do our we moments. We do it with our podcast, yeah. yeah. So so there's a lot in there. Yeah, we're crushing it, Dan. We're <laughs> no. trying to, yeah. Yeah, well, and then this is the thing, you know, no one's going to crush it like Gary Vee. It is great. I do like, uh, you know, like him a lot because he's he is genuine. He's, he does the things that he says he's mm-hmm. going to do, basically. Um, you know, and it's a bit more casual. This book as well. He kind of like goes off script and talks to you a little bit, which is kind of cool. Yeah, it's I a like bit more that. value than if you were just reading the book, for example. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he interviews a few different stars about how they started and how they, or not even stars, just people who built businesses and how yeah. they kind of built their and business how Crush It had influenced them originally. Exactly, because yeah. it's a it's a it's based, sequel to yeah. uh, his first book, Crush It. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's a really phenomenal book, and again, it's like really shows you how much you can be doing. And if you read this in conjunction with the story brand, like mm. and you're trying to start a brand of any kind, like stop, yeah. listen to both of these books two times <laughs> each and then pick up what you're doing yeah. and you'll be way more successful, trust me. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, like even the dollar eighty cent strategy that he has where you like leave 90 meaningful comments on Instagram per mm. day. Guys, if you really want to grow an Instagram brand, brand and you're like buying followers or like paying people to do whatever, like, dude, just leave comment, meaningful comments on people because that's what social media is. You yeah. Know? So it's like, that's been a huge one that's for massive, us as yeah. well. And it's something we've been putting a lot more energy into recently as well. Yeah. Um, just through like YouTube as well, like just commenting on a video that you enjoyed. And the idea is that you're putting in, like you said, like your, your two cents. You're not just going, awesome post, man. Yeah. Nice yeah. one. You're actually like, wow, I gained a lot from this. I love this point that you made in particular. I've been reflecting on this. Whatever. And then people check you is. out. It's so yeah. easy. Like. It is. Connect with people. What? Connect with people. And that, that links into <laughs> oh, our next book. Oh, it does, yeah. So this is, one is a little bit more on the uh, spiritual kind of side. Yeah, that's not spiritual. That's the best way. But well, it kind of is, though. But yeah, like personal development and just yeah. awareness not, almost. Not as much business. But it's uh, Lost Connections by Johan Hari. Uh, now, if you don't have time for the full audio book, he's got a couple of Joe Rogans. Uh, so they 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 were the ones that originally like that's how I found out that he had an actual book coming out. Mm-hmm. But they're really great. And he's very, very engaging. That's what I like about this book is... His voice is so calm and everything like that. But the concept of the book is that as modern day humans, we are totally lost. We're not connected with people at all. Mm -hmm. And so the rates of depression, anxiety, and all these different mental diseases and disorders are skyrocketing. And he's this lays out the clear, like why it's happening. Uh, And that, as you said, in one of our previous podcasts that, uh, the, you know, how we box up depression and stuff. It's like, it's not just that, like, it's not just that there's so Mm -hmm. many different things to it, so many different aspects to it yeah. and so many different causes and um, and solutions as well. For sure, yeah. So. And the thing that I personally really enjoyed about this book as well is that he actually lays it down with empirical evidence. Like yeah. He actually has research to back it. He talks about like the pharmaceutical industry and he makes really big comments that could, you know, put like quite a big hit on his head because he's yeah. calling out pharmaceutical yeah. companies and he's basically saying like... Because he was on con- yeah, drugs for a long time. Exactly right. And he's basically like connection is the biggest like solution basically yeah. like the more connected you are the happier you'll feel it's like a form of a cure to some extent to depression and anxiety but again like no one size fits all because connection can be great but if you have other circumstances for sure but, but also yeah the uh there's another guy in uh vancouver i forget his name right now uh but he's a doctor as well and uh his literal definition of the opposite of addiction is connection. Mm. And so, yeah, they're like we're bringing back to how it's changed our life. Basically. Like I really think that it's like, you know, when something goes really wrong in your life, not even really wrong, but you know, because it's so fresh, like it feels re- like it really hurts or whatever. And what's going on. And it just, you know, everything's confusing. It's happened to me a few times this year, obviously. Mm. And, uh, <laughs> obviously, obviously my life's yeah. in shambles. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're <laughs> documenting look, look it look all. At the podcast. Gary Vee would be proud, but you're documenting <laughs> it all, dude. Work. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And then I bring it back and I just go out and hang out with my friends. I'm like, ah, it's not that bad. Yeah, Because for sure. it's like, it's all literally, it's all about connection. If you don't have good connection in your life, like, yeah. 
so important. For sure. And uh, the thing that stood out to me that kind of bridges onto that point is you and I are in the digital space, right? And real connection is not the digital space, right? Yes, you can get a little bit from it. I'm not discrediting it, but the reality well, is What's like, the way you go about it? Well, know? that's exactly right. Like if you make those meaningful connections, like we've met some amazing people for the podcast. Technically, we've met them online, right? Yeah. And then we've met them in person. We've had really great chats with them. So the reality of the matter is like connecting with people, that has been my biggest takeaway from it. Like I'm quite regularly on the internet connecting with people, but it doesn't feel 100% like I'm getting enough out of it some days. And then when I recognize that depletion in my emotions, that's when I'll go, hey, Eamon, do you want to play some COD? Real, yeah. And then Eamon's like, We don't have of to course. talk about COD every episode. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's just Everyone a just thing. It's just a like, thing. We don't have a COD book. We're like, yeah, we're soft development heroes, but all we do is play video games. <laughs> yeah. Call the duty right. for the people who don't get what so, is. Anyway. <laughs> uh, I do want to have a minor mention to another book that we both okay. shared uh, this year, and that's This Is Marketing by Seth Godin. Yep. Uh, so again, if you're into marketing, uh, this is just a good way to like reframe your mind that you can, you know, you're not you're not going into it from a way of like ripping people off and you're trying to put your service out there and you're stealing money from other people. It just kind of reframes in your mind that you can market in a way that's very genuine, that really aligns with your values in a way that you can make a difference and actually change the world. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's like really, that's the whole point of the book really is like, and if you reframe that, it kind of gives you permission to kind of go out and really crush it because you're trying to help people. You know, you're not, you're not like, oh, you need to buy from me. It's like, hey, I really want to help you do something positive. Mm, so it's just definitely. like- you don't have to listen to the book now because I just told you about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, but that's a, that's a minor mention. That was that was a pretty good one. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so, all right, we'll do a couple each now. Do yeah. You, what uh, what's your? So I'll start piece? up with my uh, recommendation here. So it's called "The Power of Vulnerability," mm -hmm. and it's by Bernay Brown. And the the slogan, I guess you'd say, is "Teachings on Authenticity, Connection, and Courage." And I, I gained so much from this, and again, it kind of links in with that Johan Hari book, Lost Connections, is that I love how she's actually taking the research to back up what she's saying as well, because as we know, being truth seekers in that episode, that sometimes we just take things on face value, and we don't actually know where the information came from. But for me, like, I really value knowing that, like, these are experiences that Bernie Brown has had herself, plus she's also connected with clients and people she's worked with, but there's also research that backs it up that basically you know, vulnerability is one of the most powerful things to uh, give yourself permission to go into, right? And the thing that I gained so much from this, and it really just made me feel great about who I am as a person and who I've, who I've developed into, is that I try to be authentic in every situation and I try to be, you know, courageous and try to do things that potentially other people would think, oh, why are you bothering with that or why are you doing that? Um, but it just makes me feel like that book really stood out to me and I actually got daring greatly after that, which is one, another one of her books because it just, it felt so real to me. It was like, this is what I'm doing. Like I'm being authentic. I'm enjoying what I'm doing. There's nothing wrong with that. And it's a form of vulnerability. Like people will constantly make comments or constantly try to pull me down, but like, I feel great with what I'm doing. So like that almost gave me permission to be vulnerable and be courageous and try different things. Huge. Yeah. So I really enjoyed that book. Nice. Good stuff. Yeah. What about yourself? What was... So I've been more on the kind of business grind uh, this particular year. And uh, so something that has really, really helped me is Never Split the Difference by Chris Voss. I can't talk high, more highly about this book. It's kind of in the realm as building a story brand as well. So he is a um, like what the biggest like FBI ne like negotiator uh, in history, and he goes through a lot of like it, dude. If you're not into brands and you mm. listen to it for the stories that he tells alone, worth it. Trust me. Nice. But basically, it's a negotiating kind of book, and um, yeah, it, it's uh, there's a lot of different really uh, valuable like actionable content in there, um, and and the thing I love about books that really grasp me is when they tell you a story, like they, they present the concept, tell you the story, and then present the concept in the context of that story so you really actually understand the concept kind of thing. Yes. And in fact, I'm going to go back and listen to that book again mm -hmm. uh, because, yeah, like, you know, just a lot of the lot of the actual theories and, and things that he presents in it are re really, really helpful, especially in business, especially if you're trying to close like huge deals and that kind of thing. And it's not about manipulating or tricking other people, just about using very basic kind of human emotions and that kind of thing to just pose questions like, um, how am I meant to do that? You know, like mm. if a hostage is holding your loved one and say, yeah, give me a million dollars today. And all you ask the question is, how am I, how am I meant to do that? Mm. Kind of makes them go, oh, well, yeah, obviously there's no way you're going to come up with a million dollars in kind of one day. And then they lower the price. And anyway, phenomenal stories in there. Yep. Huge amount of value, whether you're running a business or whatever it is. Really good for negotiating if you're doing any kind of selling. Yeah, <laughs> so, cool, cool. What's your next one? Yeah, and... Um, 
on that note about like story driven books, like the, the literally the first audio book I got was The Third Door by Alex Benign. Yeah. And like just in terms of being gripped by something, it could have been the fact that it was my first book. There is that element as well. It's this exciting new thing. But just the way he developed the story, the way he like inter like twined everything and connected everything into this whole thing that so basically the slogan is the wild quest to uncover how the world's most successful people launch their careers. So there is a, an element of business in there. There's an element of personal development, but there's also all these learnings throughout the book. And the thing that again, it was vu- vulnerability stood out to me is the fact that he basically said throughout this book, like, Hey, I've basically hit the wall and like, I, I don't think I can keep going. And every single time it was that idea of like, how can you go past that point? And how can you open the third door instead of opening the conventional first or the second door? Like, how do you take a different approach to it? Yeah. And that really stood out to me purely because of how he was actually telling the story and how he was connecting it all together. And then the message was fantastic as well. So it was just such a well-rounded book. And it was my first audio book. Yeah. So it and really stood out to me. The way he tells stories as well, very captivating. It's like yeah. really gets you in there where you're like in the car, like getting to get out of your car, listen to audio book, like just one more minute. I know. <laughs> I never wanted so, to stop, dude. Yeah. It was amazing. Yeah. I didn't get like as much huge value out of that book because this the concept is quite simple, but mm. I definitely stayed for all the stories as well. It's mm. like and and you know, like I find that the length of a book is the thing, you know, it's like cause you can go up on YouTube and look up the the like a what is it, not a preview, like a uh a uh, synopsis or yeah, a, a basically, you know, overview. Or yeah, overview. And it's yeah. like two minutes long and someone tells you the story, but that's not going to sink in, right? No. So the length of the book and the, the, the amount of times that someone like, you know, like repeats the actual concept, that's the thing that, that actually sinks in. You know what I mean? That's mm. the point of a book in my experience anyway. And so, yeah, like it's a pretty simple concept, but because I stuck with it the whole way because it was engaging and therefore the message of it stuck with me. Yeah, nice. Know? Yeah. So... So that says a lot about storytelling in audiobooks as well. Exactly, building a story brand. Yeah. Um, All right, my last one Mm -hmm. uh, is Flip the Script by Oren Claff. Uh, Mm -hmm. I must say, like, uh, you know, it's it's really hard to to choose books, honestly. Um, And this one I only read relatively recently. And again, it's a sales and marketing book. Uh, Basically, he's sold millions and millions and millions, possibly billions of dollars of of stuff. And, um, you know, he does it with with different companies is not necessarily like fully knows everything about their company, you know? So he's kind of like people hire him and he helps make the sale where it's a $350 million sale of a property or whatever it is. Mm. Um, and they've only got a week to do it or something and he comes up with a way to do it. And again, a lot of really actionable content in there. One thing that's been really huge for me just quickly is like, um, is a, a status tip off. So it's like, we kind of chatted about it in one of the podcasts earlier that we did but it's like to get someone on your side and really liking you. So the fact that they'll actually do something for you, it's like, say you're going to get a coffee at the, at the local, you know, cafe kind of thing. You talk to the barista and you're like, Oh, what kind of bean is that? Is it from this? And how long was it in that? You know, like, and so you say a few things where they're like, Oh, he's one of us kind of Mm. thing. And that's really helped in the way of, again, it's not in a manipulative kind of way, but it's like, if you can get a person to realize that, that they're like, instead of like, oh, who's this person? And like, oh, I don't know who they are and that kind of thing. If you can't see me in the podcast, I'm making dinosaur hands right now. <laughs> uh, but but if you can get them, if you can do a status tip off where like, ah, oh, he's just one of us. They all yeah. of a sudden become so much more comfortable and relaxed around you. They open up and they're like, oh, you're just one of the bros. You know, you're just mm-hmm. one of us kind of thing. And that's, anyway, I won't tell you all of them because... But there's so, so much yeah. value in there, honestly. And yeah. uh, Dan, you should, you should listen to it, dude. Well, I've, I've listened to most of it. And it's amazing. What, really? Flip the script. Oh, did you? Yeah. I didn't know you were... Yeah. There you Spoiler go. Spoiler, guys. We're so, I didn't, I didn't know <laughs> but you no, I haven't it. got through it yet, but what you were saying, oh, right. that's basically where I'm up to now. Oh, okay, right. That whole status tip-off where yeah. you try to align with the status of that other person. Yeah. And again, he tells stories in it. And that's, yeah, what that's I, what's I so, it so captivating. Much, engaging because it's like he tells stories. And yeah. so I'll be reading three or four books at one time, but like, you know, sometimes if one book is like, is the storytelling book, I'll be with that one, you know? So yeah. that's my last one. That's what your is, last uh, one? There's a few, there's so many. There's so few, many, And I'm listening to a few right now, but... Can't definitively say that. We'll save that for the, for next year's one. Yeah, yeah. So, so to round it out with my final yeah, recommendation. Yeah, what's, what's your last one? So this one was actually released in 2011, Ryan, but it's from Gary Vee. Oh, so much clout to him today. I know. <laughs> and it's called The Thank You Economy. And the thing that stood out to me about this is basically like he, he called this, he is kind of like a future predictor to some extent with certain things he said. And with this one, he's basically saying that brands and personalities will get to a point on social media 
where they will actually be engaging one on one with customers and they will basically be thanking them. They'll be giving them advice on things or they'll just be helping them through the process of support, the, the aftermarket care. And he basically said, instead of going through the old way where you'd call someone or you'd email someone and like when you email someone, there's a possibility 24 to 48 hours. When you call someone, you could be on a waiting list, you know, but you put it out into the world on social media. And for the most part, there are really good brands out there that do engage. Like I've seen, for example, GoPro the other day, I saw them engage through Twitter because someone wasn't happy with something. They engaged immediately within a few seconds. Another amazing company, Rode, which is an Australian microphone company, they engage all the time. They have one of the greatest presence I've seen online because they're just there. They're like, if you need advice, you hit them up and they'll be like, oh, we're really sorry to hear this. Like, here's our contact or like, what, what do you need help with? Or we can refund that. And like, that is becoming the norm more and more now. Um, so to me, it was just the idea that you know, the social world is becoming more of the reality than than traditional media, right? Than like newspaper or advertisement on TV or billboards even, or like yellow pages, like all these things are becoming redundant. And it's like, literally your your brand is now being captured in an online world. And the, the brands that are standing out and the ones that are actually getting that loyal following are the ones that are offering support online immediately through social networks. And that was like one of my bigger takeaways from it because that's kind of something that I've always been that way with my YouTube channel. Like if someone's got a question about something, I try to engage with it on YouTube. If they ask me a question through my Facebook or Instagram, like I've tried my hardest for 10 years now to just engage immediately on that personal level. And it's made such a difference to the connections I've made with people. So just to hear that from a reputable source and to see more of that happening in 2019, that just stood out to me as like, we are on the right path. Yeah. Doing this is the right path. Yeah, this is the way. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> so, yeah, well, yeah, like I would love to open up to the audience and say, yeah, if, yeah. You, if you have any book recommendations for us, we are always super keen to hear of them. So, yeah, if you can let us know in the comments, um, like, you know, what your favorite book has been this year, if you're listening to audiobooks at all. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're not, as Dan mentioned, uh, we have an Amazon affiliate link. You can sign up, get a free book, th like 30-day trial and a couple of Amazon originals as well, uh, Audible originals. So check that out, have a book on us. Uh, but yeah, these have been the best books for us for 2019. I'm looking forward to next year's episode because, again, we only really got into audio, audio books like this year kind of mm. thing. Uh, and it's been huge like as a development tool because as reading goes, I read less and less physically because I can kind of be in, be in the gym and like listen to an audio book at the same time on like five times speed. You know how it is. Five times speed. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> so much value. Dude, so much value. And then you can listen to it five times in a row. Yeah, well, that's it. Five yeah, times. Yeah, let's do it five times. That just invalidated this whole episode. Didn't yeah, it? <laughs> kind of did, but that's okay. But yeah, so we have fun uh, around here. We do. That? We do. We, uh, so yeah, yeah. Uh, to round it out, this is Minds podcast. Uh, we help you master your mindset. And as Dan said, we like to have a bit of fun. So um, <laughs> yes. Yeah, thank you for listening. We hope you had an amazing 2019, even though this is no, no doubt 2020 by the time this is coming out. Uh, a little late to the game on it. But uh, stay tuned because we have a bunch of awesome content coming this year. Mm -hmm. And we'll chat to you soon. Chat to you soon. <laughs>